Saying no to things you don't want to do is easier than saying no to things you do want to do. How do I navigate all the things I'm interested in without having a calendar that's bursting at the seams? Well, I don't know that I agree with the premise of this question. Because I think quite often it's just as hard to say no because you think you want to do the thing. So here's what I mean. If someone at work is asking you to come to some Christmas party and there's a, and you know you just don't, I hate Christmas parties, but there's an expectation in that corporation to be there, Mm -hmm. it actually makes it harder to say no to that because everyone else is going to be there and societally, culturally, and in terms of your peer group, you feel like you're supposed to be there. And so it's really hard to say no to other people's expectations. It's equally hard to say no to your own expectation because ultimately... It is only your expectation. You've picked up their expectation, and now it has become your expectation. So the mm. the second part of this question, how do I navigate all the things I'm interested in without having a calendar that's bursting at the seams? It's by... The way that I do it is I don't obligate myself to too many things. Mm. There are so many things I want to say yes to mm. that I'm excited to say yes to. Yeah. Unfortunately, we mistake excitement with passion. Mm -hmm. Now, passion is the result of, well, it's actually the result of a willingness to suffer. Mm. Pass us is the root of passion, which means to suffer. Mm. So whenever we are doing something that is a little bit of drudgery, writing a book is a lot of drudgery, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of passion involved in that. Mm. It's sort of throughout that dip, the other side of that is where the real passion happens. The excitement happens early on. You get really excited about a book idea, or you get excited about a party that you're invited to, or some event that you want to attend. And so you put it on the calendar three months from now, six months from now. But then a month away, you look at it and you're like, oh no. (laughs) And then it's, oh no, it's this Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I said yes to that. So if I can look at my future self, because the thing I don't want to do is I don't want to burden my future self with unnecessary obligations. Mm -hmm. I would much rather say no now when Godzilla is a baby than when Godzilla arrives six months from now and he's taking over. Because it's harder to say no the day of. Oh, yeah. Don't you hate when someone cancels on a podcast with us? Yes. I don't know what it is about Los Angeles, but not just the podcasting, but there's like this thing where I, and I find myself where I'm like, oh, I can't make that today because of whatever reason. But there's something about um, the air in LA where everyone's constantly making plans and breaking them the day of. And I'm <laughs> guilty of it. And I try not to, cause like for the first couple of years, I'm like, I'm not going to be that person. I'm not, not going to be that person. And then sometimes things come up where like, you just can't help it. But the podcast, especially because yeah, then we got to scramble at the last minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, Hey, I wish you would have said no four months ago. Right. And Ex- because, instead of an email the morning of or the night before. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's just the word. Now, sometimes there are th- some things are unavoidable, right? Hey, yes. I got COVID today. Right. Okay. Totally get it. Mm-hmm. Nothing we can do about that. Yeah. But the other times just like, Hey, I had a conflict. Yeah. What? Hey, I thought this was remote. No, you didn't. Yeah. Because we actually send you all the details several times and Mallory and, and Sean have it highlighted and bold and yellow. And mm-hmm. it's like, <laughs> the only thing we could do other than this is like show up at your door and say, Hey, did you know it's in person? Dude, the conflict thing is the worst because what they're saying is, is something more important has come up. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially when it's just a conflict, you're like, Oh, they have a better opportunity. Okay. Yeah, like, which would yeah. be fine. Just say no up front. Mm-hmm. And so that's what we're really telling Megan here is you don't want to be that person because it does two things. It stresses out the other people in your life and mm-hmm. you don't want to do that, but it also stresses you out. Mm-hmm. You don't want to have to obligate yourself to something in the future you just simply have to let go of. It's like picking up a bunch of clutter. What we're talking about here is picking up calendar clutter. Mm-hmm. That's what this whole maximal episode has been about. Mm-hmm. Calendar clutter. We pick up a lot of clutter just to let it go in the future. Well, the best way to declutter <laughs> is to not pick up the clutter in the first place. Amen. 
Did you enjoy this standalone Patreon highlight? If so, you can listen to full episodes of the Minimalist Private Podcast, available exclusively on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash the minimalists or click the link in the description. Your support keeps our podcast and YouTube channel 100% advertisement free.